you would like to help support the channel, check out our links on our homepage. You can subscribe and follow our Instagram for all the latest channel going on. Or click on our coffee link to make a donation. You can also click on our Goblin Gaming Affiliates link. They sell Games Workshop, gaming mats, terrain, accessories and many more items. And of course, Adeptus Titanicus, all at discounted rates. Anything you buy, using the link, the channel gets a little in return. Thanks very much and enjoy the show. Hello Princeps and welcome back to another SOP. So I've got a short one here for you. I was uh, scrolling through Facebook and I came across this little gem and it's a good question. So there it is in front of you and it's basically asking how do you work out damage when knights are surrounding a titan you're firing one weapon system how do you calculate your modifiers if it's all supposed to be hitting the same uh, location. So, um, the comments were long and uh, I got a bit confused, but I thought I'd look into it myself. And this has definitely happened in our games on the channel and we must have modelled through it some way and without going back and looking, I'm not entirely sure what we did. But, this is what I would do now and I thought I'd make a video on it. So let's take a look. So here we've got uh, two scenarios set up, uh, A and B. Uh, a on the left would be your traditional rulebook scenario. Um, so you've got your three knights, they have thermal cannons and melee weapons and they're attacking this warhound. They're within the uh, two inches, so no voids. So going straight to it, there's one attack each for a thermal cannon, unit three, three attack dice, and they rolled a hit. Simple as that. Um, then you go straight to rolling your location dice, rolls the body, crack on, start rolling your damage dice. They're in the front, there's no modifiers, they can see all the areas that they can damage, so you can roll anything on that location dice. Pretty straightforward, crack on. Scenario B, however, is the same sort of thing, but different. So you're attacking with the same three knights, same weapons, against the same target, except they're wrapped round. So you've got one in the front, one in the flank, one in the rear. So the weapon, is one weapon system and you roll one location dice that's fine but you do get modifiers and your weapon system is effectively wrapped around and yeah it doesn't really account for this so what would I do I'd roll my attacks as normal and in doing so I would actually roll the one for the front side and rear and and mark them keep them separate so you know which one's which and this to me is the same as in the rules where if you had knights within void shields and knights outside uh, the two inch range you'd be rolling for ballistic skill and weapon skill to me it's a similar sort of situation so I'd keep those dice separate so I know which one was attacking in the front, sight and rear once you got your hits that's great and you roll your location dice now the way I would do this is I would only choose a location that all three knights as one weapon system can all see. I think this is very simple and I think it keeps it fair. Because you're going to get those modifiers. So if I'd rolled the head for example, the knight at the rear can't see that, but he's getting a plus two modifier. That's how I'd play it. So I would only roll a location that all three can see. So roll the body, you're good to go. Legs, weapons, all three knights in this scenario can see those locations but not all three of them can see the head. And this goes back to the rule, it says if the location is not visible from the point of view of the attacking weapon. Well, you could argue it is because there's one in the front, it's one weapon system. But this is how I would do it. Then you can go to your damage rolls and you can apply your modifiers now. Um, we've hit a location that the whole unit can see and we've separated our dice so we know that the knight from the front is getting no modifier, roll that d6. The attack dice from the side is going to get plus one and the, and the dice from the rear is going to get plus two. And that's how I'd do it. Now these are like regular attacks if I was doing targeted attacks with melee weapons where you can choose or even with a 
uh, a shooting weapon where you get the minus one modifier. Again, it would be a location that you can choose that again, all models in that unit can see. And that's how I do it. So let me know in the comments if you think this is fair, if you think I'm talking rubbish, rip me the bits, that's absolutely okay. And let me know if I've missed anything. Is there something in the main rules that I'm not seeing? Um, but that's how I do this situation. That's it from me. And I will see you in the next video.